Today on this video, we're gonna talk about stress. So what is stress? Why are we stressed? And how do we deal with it? My name's Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse and clinical nurse educator here in Los Angeles, California, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So what is stress? Stress is an emotional or physical tension. Emotions meaning we're angry, anxious, sad, feelings of being overwhelmed, and physical tension is something that our bodies feel. So our muscles are tensed up, we have a headache, you don't feel very good when you're stressed. It's also classified as acute or chronic. So acute means it's short term and it has a fast recovery. An example of this is you're in a car accident, you slam on the brakes, or you have an argument um, or an injury. And chronic is long term. It can last weeks, months, even years. Example of this, bad marriage, money financial troubles, um, work problems. So why are we stressed? We're stressed for many different reasons. I've listed a few here. Our feelings, events, sleep. So let's talk about our feelings. So we may be feeling sad, lonely, anxious, overwhelmed. Just think about what's going on right now. There's so much information being thrown at us. We're reading the news on our iPads, constantly trying to stay up to date with the events that are happening right now. And it's very, very overwhelming. This has a huge impact on stress. So much going on. We can't keep up with all of the information that we have. So you're reading the news all of the time on your iPad and it's all negative, all aimed to get us reading more. Oh my goodness, what is this they're talking about? You're scrolling through, it's too much. All of this negative news that we're reading, it has a huge impact on our stress levels. So moving on to events, you may have had to cancel travel plans. You were gonna go and visit some family or friends. Also, you're trying to plan a wedding, for example. Doing that in the middle of a pandemic is hugely stressful. So these external events can all cause rise in our stress levels. Events are also linked to internal. You may be dealing with an illness or an injury. These also add on to those stress levels rising. Moving on to sleep. This is a huge one that impacts on your stress levels. I'm not getting the recommended amount what you used to and being out of our routines in quarantine right now. We're going to bed later, we're waking up later. We are just completely out of whack with what we usually used to. So being out of our usual routines of sleep messes up your circadian rhythm and you need this to help feel good and continue with your you know good healthy lifestyle so moving on if you are feeling stressed and not your usual self um, we're going to talk about a few ways that you might be able to deal with it so recognizing your triggers not everybody knows when they're feeling like this a good idea would be to keep a diary think i'm feeling like this i think i'm feeling stressed write it down and try and link that to what made you feel that way so now you recognize your triggers now you know what to avoid next talk it may seem really simple Obviously, you're gonna talk when you're feeling like this, but now everybody does. Pick up the phone. You don't have to FaceTime or just message. Just hearing somebody's voice and talking about the way that you're feeling is hugely impactful. Communication about this is key to helping yourself feel better. Exercise, probably one of the biggest things to help you feel better. Releases those endorphins, gets you feeling happy. Increases your overall health. Even if you don't like to exercise or you don't exercise regularly, just going for a walk around the block. Getting your body moving is gonna make you feel so much better rather than staying in the house and not doing anything. Let's consider our habits. Eating, drinking, sleeping habits in particular. We need to eat healthy. This keeps our bodies in check, keeps us feeling good. Eating the right nutrients is not just gonna keep your body healthy, but your mind healthy too. So drinking, what fluids are we putting into our body? What impact is that having on our stress levels? Caffeine, a huge one. We may be working from home more, you have access to your coffee pot, so you're making more coffee, drinking a lot more than you used to. This can increase your heart rate, which in turn can increase your stress levels. Also your alcohol intake. Quarantine and being in this situation may have increased your glass of wine at dinner to two glasses of wine at dinner, maybe three. This can have a negative impact on your overall body health. Also impacting your sleep routine. You may wanna drink more because it takes your mind off the stress of what's going on in the world right now and all of your problems, but that is gonna affect your sleep. So just making a little change can have improved benefits. This leads me on to your sleep routine. Having a good sleep routine, going to bed the same time every night and waking up the same time every morning, 
has so many benefits on your overall well-being. Now drinking tons of coffee, tons of alcohol, maybe not tons, but more than you usually used to drinking, this is gonna have a huge impact on your overall sleep pattern. And finally, gratitude. What are you grateful for right now? Write it down, make a daily list. It gives you perspective and makes you think about all the good things that you have in your life. You may be looking at social media and comparing yourself to other people's lives. Um, don't do this. Look at what you have and be grateful. We all know that people only post the best part of their lives on social media. Don't compare yourself, you're all fabulous. If there's anything I've missed off from these lists, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.